puppies ruining my ASMR cozy rain moment. Mwah. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Hey everybody! And welcome to Spriggan Studios. I'm your host, Mr. Spriggan. Yeah. Now, I know it was incredibly rude to talk with your mouth full and to eat. Uh, well, try to make a video probably. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But these snickerdoodly cookie things that my stepdaughter made are super delicious. And I love them, and I can eat a million of them. I just wish I had coffee. You also might be wondering, Mr. Friggin, uh, what the hell are you doing? What's with all this stuff? Uh, these are just accessory things for the Friggin Studios store that'll be opening soon. Or maybe it's already open. Probably soon. <laughs> um, not unlike the stuff I did for the video, the paint up video, but a few different things. Um, but that's not what this video is about. No, no. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> this video is about what's over there. Uh, whoops. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like do a magic edit cut. And uh, everybody loves when you explain what you're gonna do. And I'm gonna be like, why don't you just do it? Oh, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ta da! Hey, wait. Uh, <laughs> I skipped like, I skipped to another video. Uh, and in the future. What happened? I don't know. This isn't what we're doing. Uh, I better do another cut. Yeah, got a lot of diorama things going on right now. I need a wand. That's why it didn't work. Uh, all magic uh, requires some kind of wand or something. Wait a second. You, you. Maybe this? Uh, what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> Hello. Uh, okay. Bam. It worked. I'm amazing. <laughs> what can I say? Here it is. Here she is. The uh, topic of today's video. The subject, if you will. The this. Yeah, she's a 30 minute mission, 30 minute sisters uh, kit, and uh, P Bandai, and uh, has like some long, super long name. Of course, the Japanese love these long names. Um, we got the Power Rari Palaton uh, Grave Form SIS AC65N. Whatever the heck all that means. Um, but basically, it means she's amazing and she's really cool. And uh, she's already built. Watch this. Wait, am I doing the time lapse? No, wait, I'm not ready. No. Way to go, Mr. Spriggan. Way to go. Uh, what am I doing now? Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, let's uh, get the overhead camera going and uh, I'll show you. Uh, the book. That's what I'll show you. I'll show you the book and the water slide decals first. Did she come with water slide decals? I don't even freaking remember. Uh, we gotta get uh, things in order here. Things go in a little bit of a disarray when I'm working on like dioramas and stuff. And I'm working on two dioramas at the moment. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what I do to myself. Okay, but anyways, we're focused on Musume. Yes. And she's amazing. Look, before we set up our overhead camera, 
Spooky Studios is no longer clean. Look at the bitties, the foam bits. Uh, here, I'm working on a uh, G.I. Joe display diorama for a client. Yes. And uh, another the biggest diorama ever I've ever made uh, for somebody else. <laughs> and I got a couple weeks to do it. Maybe. Uh, okay. Uh, this. All right, we'll bring out our uh, girl in a minute to show her off, but, oh, man. Her design is awesome, okay? I love it. Me love it. Mm, quite a bit. I don't like all these uh, junky extra gimmicky things. Oh, but it comes with some cool hair. Some cool hair. I see more than one hair. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, here she is. In all of her bookie goodness. Okay. Look at this. It's a nice haircut. It's got a really cool streamline type look. Not a big fan of the... Uh, junky backpack accessory thing me eh. uh, you know the frame arms girl go rye type uh, gimmick she uh, has tank treads and uh, will uh, zoom around on her feet yeah that's okay uh, look at this though she looks so good with one of these uh, bazooka type uh, cannon things yeah that's a really smart look for her. Uh, do we have any other pictures oh look at this comes with uh, all kinds of uh, things What's 30 Minute Sisters? Let's introduce the sisters. So many different items. It's true. Uh, we have this one. Uh, Richetta? Sounds like a delicious bread meal. Uh, I think maybe we can get some more. I don't know. Some of them uh, admittedly look kind of stupid. <laughs> or maybe not stupid. I'm sorry if you like them. Uh, and you're like, Mrs. Friggin, I'll kill you. Don't say anything bad against... Lara, Laranel. Okay, the names are not the greatest. Um, they look a little funny, a little strange. Uh, that's okay. Bandai is uh, working their, doing their best. And a lot of them are really cool. But I'm going to get some more, me thinks, 30 My Sisters. Because they're a nice, easy build. Um, and I uh, don't feel as deli delicate. Yeah. Details not as sharp as other model kits, but... So good. Wow, we got like a friggin' super booklet here, as I know because I built her already. Um, we got a, a couple of color pages, which doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. Some chibi pictures of her encouraging you to build properly and snip what needs to be snipped and spare the rest. Uh, but that's it. We don't got any more pictures. This is it. Kind of like a high grade uh, Gundam kind of kit thingy going on. All right, anyways. Let's, uh, let's bring her out in all of her parts. Here she is. What do you need to know about this kit? A few things. The good. She comes with different hair. She can have different bangs and different looks. That's awesome. She's a very good looking kit. Easy to build, solid, and uh, looks amazing. And she's great. Uh, maybe uh, one of the suckier things is uh, the face plates. Um, again, we gotta open her mouth. <laughs> Um, um, both mouths are open. One is more open, so hence the opener, uh, I guess. Um, with eyes looking, of course, sideways and then one looking straight, so no different expressions. Okay, uh, you know that bugs old Mr. Spriggan um, because it's uh, ridiculous. Uh, but uh, there's some cool things. Okay, we got some armor bits and uh, this gimmicky thing um, and our uh, bazooka type gun, which comes with various hands as you would expect. Okay, a different color arm piece. Uh, we're just uh, blasting through this. Um, okay, she comes with different hands. Let's uh, see if we can zoom in on this. Okay, look. We got one set of hands. Okay, they have this cool... Can we even see this? I don't know. This cool, like, armory type looking pad on top of it, okay? Alright, we get two. Two different hands of that with that cool thing. The rest are just black. Okay, like gloves. So I don't know why we get more of those than these. I don't know, but it's cool. It's fine. We got those. Um, she looks good. She looks great. We got some bare legs, which is always good. But look, I just forgot something that just dawned on me now. Oh, she comes with a bunch of extra parts from various 30 minute sister and 30 minute mission kits in here. And when I saw these jobbers, 
these big kind of boot looking things. It reminded me, I actually built this. Look at this. I built this years ago um, and it is her 30 minute mission kit friend. Okay, look at this. This, this gimmick, uh, the feet, all this recycled stuff, of course, for these uh, thigh pieces, shoulder pieces and this, all recycled so that they can uh, rob us by calling it a P-Bandai by just giving us uh, this uh, probably cool helmet hat type thing. That's pretty much it. Um, but uh, yeah, this guy is cool and uh, that explains all this stuff. Um, now, I'm gonna show you the spin and how cool she looks for sure, uh, no doubt. But I have something, actually she's changed my mind about a future project that I had and what I'm gonna use her for. She's gonna be substituted in for an already cool kit and idea I had. Um, and I will tell you, I'll explain more about that in a second. Should we try her with all these 30 minute mission extra bits and parts? See if it's, uh, and get some cool looks? I don't know. We'll see. We will see. Oh, I definitely wish I had more of her. I love this, this look. It's very smart. It's very cool. And I love the uh, how she feels action figure -y. I love when uh, when I build Masume kits and I don't feel like I have to really put my kid gloves on to handle them. Yeah. Solid. But I guess some of that solidness comes at the expense of some nice articulation because she's got the ball joints for the upper body here. We like to test out our curve action here. And we get none. We get nothing. This ball joint is, is a, is, 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 it does nothing except for allow her to swivel like side to side and stuff. Okay, we can't, we can't bend her or anything like that. Bend, I don't even know what's the point of that. Um, okay, but she's amazing. She's amazing, okay? Let's, uh, let's not uh, take that to mean anything but I love her. Okay, okay I'm going to explain. I'm going to explain now. Explain what I'm going to do. As I was saying, uh, if you follow Spirit Studios, um, me here um, for any length of time, you'll maybe you might know I'm working. I've been wanting to work. <laughs> what the? F I can't speak. Oh my god! All right. So, if you followed me, Mr. Spriggan, yeah, at Spirit Studios. For a bit, you may have known about a little project I've teased. Now this is supposed to be, I think, for the 1,000 subscriber special, which never happened, uh, and I feel terrible. And then it's supposed to be for the 2,000 subscriber special, which never happened, and I feel, again, terrible. Um, but it's, this project is gonna happen, and when it does, it's gonna be grand and glorious. Um, but basically, here it is, okay? What do we got here, Mrs. Brigham? Playing with toys? Yes. A custom toy. A custom police cruiser for Toronto police. Yeah. Painted up by myself, which uh, will be in the footage. Look at this supervisor, we got license plates on here. We got all the we got all the freaking official stickers and decals and everything. This is all done up. Oh baby. Oh baby. Doors friggin' open. Look at this, can we even see what I'm doing? The door's open with the decal. I did this! I put this decal on, this huge thing, and it opens up. And okay, what's the point of this? The point is, she is going to be our perfect police officer. Yes, um, I had another perfect police officer, and it uh, was her. Our Megami device uh, wisdom kit, our snipe. Um, I was customizing her up like crazy, as you can see. Um, and she also has a cool helmet. <laughs> it's a little big, but it's cute. Uh, if we can focus. Yeah, and it works, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and she has like so many cool details and stuff. But she is a bit tall, okay? So this uh, works nicer. And I think we're gonna save her. We're gonna save her for another project. I'm gonna team her up with another cop, you'll see. Okay, that's gonna be a, a future project. But uh, she works nicely for the car. She could sit in there because the door opens, she's good height. And uh, her partner, 
in crime, not in crime, her partner against crime, is Ardell, Toronto police unit robot thingy. Yes, complete with cuffs, baton, and shield, riot shield. These guys can be a team. Yep, okay. And uh, this team of my, uh, uh, what the heck? Okay, time's going. Uh, they're gonna be, can we stand? What are we even doing here? Okay, they're gonna be fighting another 30 minute sister kit. And it's her. She's gonna be our custom, custom girl. Like a nine volt, I think we call her. Yeah, cause she's a cat, okay? Cat's got nine lives, nine volt battery. Custom character. She's gonna be robbing banks and everything with also a Gundam buddy friend. This guy, hi Mark. Yeah, yeah. So they're gonna be out causing chaos. I'm gonna make a diorama of some kind of big building, bank, cityscape, who knows what. But they're gonna be doing their thing. And then these ones are gonna be coming to stop them. It's gonna be great. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's get on with this. Let's see how she stacks up against her friends. Uh, go buy this kid if you can. She's gonna be expensive, so I feel bad for you. Um, but uh, I'm already giving her 10, 10 out of 10 Spriggins. Okay, maybe maybe nine. We'll lose one because of the articulation, non-articulation for the upper torso. But uh, she's amazing and great, still. Okay, so she's short, uh, coming in at uh, just under five and a half inches. <laughs> yeah, she's a cutie, and we love it, and we love all of the kids. But I'm gonna make you a star. You're gonna be awesome and great. And you're going to look super sweet painted up in some Toronto Police uh, ETF color scheme. And who do we have here? You know, uh, her gimmicks have really grown on me since posing her and uh, making this video. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. And uh, I'm just uh, very happy with her in general. I mean, I could have done with some more face plates and uh, maybe some uh, more unique gimmicks that match her helmet instead of recycled 30 minute mission parts. But she's still fantastic. That's why uh, we're going to uh, bring in... Uh, Pay no attention to this hand. Ooh, help me. Release the sprickins. There we go. Where are they going? Nobody knows. Okay, there we go. Yeah, get out of there. <laughs> okay, she gets uh, nine out of 10 sprickins. Uh, why the nine? Mainly because we'll just take away one because uh, the uh, lack of, if that top ball joint could just give some more arch oh man it'd be so great uh, that's that's what i'm thinking um yeah maybe just a few more face plates would have clinched the 10 but definitely and and the price affects it okay she's too expensive p bandai's uh, robbing us blind here they shouldn't be doing this um but uh yeah she's an excellent kit very sturdy nice and we wish she had more <sighs> basically what i'm trying to say is shouldn't be this expensive everyone should be able to get this thing Okay? It's just a freaking helmet at the end of the day. Half a helmet even. 
but we still love her. <laughs> so what do you think? Isn't she friggin' amazing? All wobbly here. Oh my god, look at this. She stands like a like a beast. Uh, I want to thank again, special thanks to Cody. Yes, Cody, you. You made this possible because uh, with this being a paid Bandai kit and uh, pretty much impossible to find unless you're finding her online, she's like uh, super scalped at crazy prices. Um, uh, I wouldn't have bought her, but because you super thanked me, I used that money to make her more like a normal, reasonable kit to buy. And so that made me very happy because I really wanted her. And uh, it's great. And uh, uh, what do you think about my idea for using her in the police unit instead of the Megami device? Now, the custom Megami device, don't get me wrong, was amazing and awesome. And I still will use her and she'll be a police uh, custom character and everything. But I think I'm going to place her with a certain somebody, a certain intellectual property that is not mine. But it'll be amazing. It'll be a diorama too. But uh, this one, I think since we have her, uh, we have another 30 minute uh, sister that we work, that she's the villain to face off against her, and she's a better scale to go in her car uh, for it to all match up. Um, I think it's gonna be great and amazing. Oh, I love this. I wish I had more of her. I wish I had, man, why can't they just, why can't friggin' Bandai just, you know, people want this, they're gonna buy it. Just don't make it specialty. The only people who benefit from the P Bandai things and special kits or whatever that are marked up like crazy are the resellers. That's it, okay? I don't understand. Somebody please help me understand this. Okay, end of rant. Uh, so, what's coming to Spurkin Studios? Well, the summer is winding down, sadly. <sighs> but uh, I have dioramas I have to finish and I have to furiously work on. Okay, one's a diorama, one's like a display base, which I showed you. Um, so those will be coming as videos. Yes. Uh, and uh, the My Masume video showcasing all of your Misume who submitted pictures and things to me. I will showcase that. That'll be exciting, our first video. <sighs> Is that it? I think that's it. Well, I better go. Uh, I got lots to do. So as always, stay creative and cozy. Do what you love. Unapologetically. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye for now. Something's on my legs. Just foam.